Good morning everyone, welcome to Lost Things Gaming, it's Horizon 5. I'm looking at the winter season. 20 points gets you a Mustang SVT, that's a new car. And 40 points gets you a Toyota 4Runner truck. V4's fun's all about the Nissan Lancia Spec R from 2000 or the Lancia Evo from 2008. You've got to own and drive either one of them, reach 100 mile an hour, take a photo and six stars at any danger sign. I've got two tunes here, both by Cashless Planes 8, who's a fantastic tune, they're both from the A-Class. Those are both really good cars to get this completed with. For the dailies, we've got a bank, 10,000 skill score, the Race Off Festival at Barrio Trail, win a dirt or road event, take a photo of your car at Baja Outpost, two stars at a festival speed zone in Extreme Track Toy, Mosler. Complete round three of arcade, send a gift drop and drive five miles in any boogie. So pretty straightforward on that one. A shop, 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 Aston Martin, Vulcan, AMR, the face mask, the play joggers, the TVR Cerebra Speed, Hot Wheels Flame, Car Horn, and a wheel spin and a super wheel spin if you fancy them. Then you've got the trial, smooth cruising. Don't know what the restriction is because it hasn't been posted yet, but I'm working on it being super saloons in the A-Class. I might be wrong, I might be right, I don't know. Then you've got a event lab, Sneezing Dragon Circuit, Malpay, being the only PR stunt, Decade in the Making, Rain, Wind or Shine, and Play the Game. So, Ot Hatch in the C-Class, maybe Retro, I don't know, but I'll have a look at that. Anything goes S2 for the PR, 2010's S1. Retro S1, All Wheel, All Weather Warriors, A Class, and B Class Country Germany. So, Trial, Smooth Cruising, A Class, I'm assuming, Super Saloon, I'm also assuming. But I've got a BMW M5 from 2018. This is the one I used for Hot Wheels recently, and this is pretty decent. That's assuming, of course, that it is Super Saloon to me, A Class. <laughs> Because the information has not been posted yet. Last week it was posted early, today it hasn't. So Sneezing Dragon Circuit, C-Class Hot Hatch, well maybe Retro Hot Hatch. If it's Retro, it's the 91 Peugeot Rally. If it's regular Hot Hatch, it's going to be the 98 Volkswagen Golf GTI VR6 Mark III. I've got two tunes there, so it's either going to be Hot Hatch or Retro Hot Hatch. So I'm going there. Malpay. Trailblazer, easiest one in the game, pretty straightforward. S2 anything goes, it's a one straight off the motorway. Just have a run down, just keep to a flatter areas once you go off road, and you should be able to complete this with no issues. And as you'd expect, I'll use the Mosler because I have got off road tyres on this car, and it's very good for PR stunts. So 24.237 seconds remaining, that's what I managed to do. That's pretty respectable. I don't think it's going to be any di more difficult than this. And they've got the Mosler, as I said. They've got the tune up there. It's the Hot Wheels Cross Country Tune, HWCC. My usual one I used to PR stunts. Then have a quick back look at the championships. Decade in the making, 2010's S1. Old school, cool, retro supercars, S1. All wheel, all weather warriors. I'll get it right in a minute in the A class for rain, wind or shine. And play of the game. B class German cars. I do have a list on my website of all weather warriors, but I have just picked the best one in my opinion out of here. So, decade in the making S1 2010s. I like the super fast, you know, yeah, why not? The 2017 Ferrari, Bors von Tune, S1 class, and this time I do have a completed share code because last time I missed the last three numbers. Wind, rain, or shine, all weather warriors in the A class. The 2018 Mini John Cooper Works Countryman All 4. I've got a decent car for there, I've got it listed, so jobs are good in, uh, for that one. So that's the details on the screen now. Then you've got Play of the Game, B-Class Country Germany. The classic, why not, the 73 BMW 2002 Turbo. B-Class Tune, well in the B-Class obviously, by me. And I've got the sheer code up on screen there. Nice, fun, classic car. Treasure Hunt, get on board and skillfully smash through five strong plywood in your Regal vehicle. So a Buick Regal, smash five skill boards, easy enough. Home Run, photograph any sports utility heroes at Estadio Jose Aguilar, 
Christine Aguilera Stadium, as I call it. You got an Horizon Open, Mini got Smash 10, Apex Helmet at Club de Opio de Fugo, which is over on the West Coast. And shouldn't be too bad to complete. So if you're looking where the stadium is, that's where it is. It's just off Guanato. I'm marked up over a skill board there, so it'll be a case of just driving around up to it. That's what it looks like. That's a photo you can take. Pretty straightforward, you know, just go there, take a picture of your character outside the car. Then you've got the expansion packs, La Cantera, Touring Through Dirt, Horizon Nexus and Fire and Ice. La Cantera is an absolute bloody nightmare. S2 Anything Goes for both PRs, Super GT and the S1 for Touring and Ford S1 for Fire and Ice. So yeah, this is going to be fun with La Cantera. It's the worst jump in the game. It's absolutely terrible. I'm still unaware of the targets, but yeah, I struggled to hit three stars with it, to be perfectly honest. So it's going to be struggling to get whatever PR stunt you've got. So I did manage to get 426 as a best bet on this one, but that isn't what I got for this run. I managed to get 400 meters or 1.312 feet in the Mosler. Don't know the target, but yeah, this. This is going to be difficult, I think, to be to be perfectly honest with people. Touring through the S1 Super GT, the Ferrari Super Fast once more, but I've got a different tune on it. I've got an off-road S1 tune this time. Got the details on screen, man. This is a, a really good off-road car. Horizon Nexus Drift Zone. That shouldn't be too much of a problem per se. And because Drift Zones are more about your own skill more than your cars but i did manage to hit 143,000 with tvr griffiths with a drifty tune in the s1 yes you can use s1s you can use any car up to and including the class for the seasonal championship s1 ford i'm going for a ford mustang shelby gt 500 from 2020 it's a tune by equinox called dirk click here apparently it's something he made to help one of his friends out so that's the playlist going through it what I know, at the moment, the only thing I see that may be slightly problematic, or probably will be problematic, will be that Rally Adventures jump. And I am a bit phlegmy with cold. Yeah, I know it's good, this. but yeah, I'm a bit phlegmy, so my voice is going a bit. But basically, that's what we've got. So the information will probably be released later on the forums. I'm leaving this as late as possible to do this, as in about two hours before this video goes live so yeah anyway that's what i've got that's what i know until next time thank you for watching and take it easy